I'm old enough to see different things come and go, but this is the most exciting project that I've been involved in. The goal is to provide better care for our patients and uh, what can be more exciting. A lot of physicians have read about changes coming. They don't all believe it. A lot of physicians think it's going to be uh, you know, the flavor of the month and they're going to be able to go back to doing business as usual. Fee-for-service, unfortunately, has created a very siloed delivery system, right? Everybody does their own thing and gets paid for their own thing within what they do, and we haven't been rewarded for connecting that continuum of care. Knowing that we needed to bring those disparate groups together under one umbrella, there's a lot of different you know, ways you can do that. But clinical integration seemed to stand tall in our minds to say, boy, this really struck a chord with us. With all of the things that can be done within that uh, framework. Aligning with physicians is our top priority. Given the changes that are taking place in the marketplace where there's an emphasis on value and quality and efficiency, you have to be aligned with physicians to deliver those. And so as an organization, we made the decision that we needed to transform the way we're delivering care. The physicians were very supportive of this right from the get-go, that simply doing stuff you know, in my own little world, uh, I may do a very good job with that, but if I don't do a good job of making sure that those patients and their families are prepared and educated coming in, you end up stubbing your toes on that. So basically over the course of the year, the advisory board was able to help construct Sparrow Care Network through three broad work streams. Forming the organization itself, uh, establishing the initial quality program, and then recruiting physicians into this framework of a Sparrow Care Network that delivered where we are today with about 500 docs into the program. We are just getting started with Sparrow Care Network at this point. What I am seeing is that doctors are talking to each other in a way that we have not had the chance to do. We've had conversations that, that we haven't had in the past. I remember some of the first meetings that we had that was actually the conversation that happened as people were leaving, as people saying to each other, wow, we've never sat around a table with the surgeons and the ER doctors and the family doctors sitting around and saying, this is what doesn't work about our system and thinking about it in that way. I think we're having relationships built out of this so far that have been really important. I think the next step will be the rest of the process sort of getting into place, but it's a good start. I think Sparrow Care Network is going to have a very positive effect on the patients and the community at large. We're really focused on quality, which is really going to translate to better value for patients. Sparrow actually is being recognized across the state as somebody that's taken a lead uh, in this effort. I think as long as we keep on this path and keep having the kind of success that we've had so far, um, we could see ourselves actually being involved in a much broader effort to improve care across the state. Here we are doing it as a team. And uh, if we can evolve into that kind of goal where we are not worried about uh, how many patients you see a day rather than how well your patients are doing, it's a great achievement. I mean, ultimately that's the reason we got into all this, is to take care of people and make a difference in their lives. And if this is how we can do it, that's wonderful.